Please rise to the pledge. Call the meeting order. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, commissioners. Item number three is invocation by Commissioner Sabatini. Thank you, Chair. Uh, please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessing and help us as we are gathered together. Give us a de desire to find ways to excel in our work. Help us to work together and encourage each other to excellence. We ask that you would challenge each other to reach higher and farther to be the best we can be. We ask this in your name, Jesus, amen. amen. Thank you, Commissioner Sabatini. Item number four is adoption of the agenda. Romano adopts the agenda. Van Sickle support. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Please vote. Well, please call the vote. He's old school. Old school. Old school. Old school. Sorry. <laughs> Believe in full transparency. <laughs> Motion passes 12 to 0. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, I'd like to call on Commissioner Romano for an announcement. Commissioner? Thank you, Chair. Uh, yesterday I made an incorrect statement. I want to correct it today and go on record as correcting it. I stated yesterday that Sterling Heights does not use smart buses for their seniors, and I was, I was incorrect. That was an incorrect statement. In fact, they do use smart buses for their, for their, uh, for their seniors, and I believe we have three or four of them at the, uh, at the senior center. That was brought to my attention by a very informative person, and I just want to say I apologize for that mistake but, uh, and, and correct it as of this meeting in the beginning. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. It's a good man that uh, does that. Very good. Item six is public participation. You have three minutes for the opportunity for any from the public to speak on any item on the agenda for three minutes today. Chair, did we approve the minutes? No. Yes, no. didn't we? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion to approve the minutes. No, there are motions been made and supported. <laughs> All those in favor, vote. Uh, those opposed, do not vote. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Oh, boy. All righty. Motion passes 12-0. That's zero. okay. I, I can take it most of the time. <laughs> All right. Item six is public participation. This is the first opportunity for the public to participate and those who wish to speak for up to three minutes on any item on today's agenda. There will be a second opportunity after the end of the agenda to speak in any subject you like for three minutes. So anyone wished from the public wish to be heard on anything on the agenda, you can please come up and use the podium or, you know, if you'd like. Anyone wish to speak? Anyone wish to speak on public participation? Please go ahead. Please may come up and step up to the podium and state your name for the record. Now you have three minutes. Good afternoon. My name is Deputy Chief Christine Wren for the International Association of First Responder Chaplains. I understand on the agenda, I don't know what number, <laughs> uh, there is a chaplain appreciation uh, recognition. And I just want to state that being a chaplain is ministry outside the four walls of the church. It's everything from the backseat of a squad car to a legislative meeting and an invocation, which was wonderful, thank you. Um, but it's, it's a different cut of ministry and it doesn't, it's not dictated by faith group, but I just, if anybody would like to find out uh, the person that set this up, um, Dr. James Friedman, is an excellent resource. If you have anybody has any questions, I will follow up with you within a calendar week. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wish to be heard under public participation? Anyone else would like to be, would you like to speak, ma'am? Why don't you go to an assistant with the microphone? Bloop. We're going to have someone bring that microphone down to you, ma'am, so that make it easier for you to communicate with us. Thank you. Is it easier at the table? Um. Yeah. 
Put her in front so she's not behind the podium, please. Thank you. Ah, thank you. My name is Dawn Hammontree. I reside in East Point. I'm speaking today. Um, sorry. Hey, take your time. It's all right. Thank you. I'm speaking today in support of putting public transportation on the ballot. As a disabled person, I rely on public transportation to get anywhere. I don't drive, I can't drive, so um, I, if I need to go to the grocery store, get to the doctor, even want to watch a movie, I am dependent on this service. It's imperative that I have a voice in this process. The, me, me and the thousands of others in my situation in Macomb County. Denying me this voice is the rankest ableism and disenfranchises this marginalized community. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Very good. Is there anyone else who wishes to be heard? Yes, sir. Please come up. You have three minutes as well. Let me, I'll try to get back no problem. My name is Stephen Hammontree. I also reside in East Point. Um, and I, too, support putting the public transit ba ballot measure on the, putting the ballot, wow, words, putting the public transit measure on the ballot. Um, not doing so is pure disenfranchisement. The only reason that I could think of not wanting to let the voters decide is because you think they'll say yes and you don't want that. You want to go against the will of the people. Otherwise, you just let them decide. That's why it's a vote. And I rely on the buses too, even though I may not look like I need them, because I'm very easily distracted. You're probably seeing that right now. Um, and I have poor eyesight, too. I can't read any of the plaques unless I raise my glasses. Um, and I don't think those should be the cause of someone's death if I, if I slip up while I'm behind the wheel of a car. So I choose not to drive. And while I'm on the bus, Sometimes I like doing other things, too. I can uh, help mom type up those notes, is what happened on the way here. Um, or I can chat with my friends or read a book. And I just keeps my mind occupied instead of just staring blankly at the tailpipe ahead of me. Um, and I would like an opportunity to vote to be able to continue doing that. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to be heard under public comment? Anyone else? Please step forward. You've got three minutes. Hi, my name is Carol Chi. I live at 35325 Moravian, Sterling Heights, Michigan, 48312 for the past 41 years. I don't rely on the smart bus, but I fought for the smart bus to stay in Macomb County a couple of years ago when I was the chair of the Sterling Heights Democratic Club. 
I had a couple of people come and speak as to why we should keep it. And I completely agree, we should definitely keep it. So it should go to a public vote and hopefully it passes that people, that we still have the smart bus because so many people rely on it. Elderly people, people with uh, disabilities, people with visual disabilities, people with uh, sensibility disabilities, any kind of disability, physical disabilities, mental disabilities, emotional disabilities, so on and so forth. And students and the elderly, of which I see quite a few here. And you never know when you are going to not be able to drive because many people, a very high percentage of older people are unable to drive for one reason or another in the last, I believe it's seven years of their lives. So if you're gonna live that long, then you probably are gonna need the smart bus also. And what's gonna replace it? Please tell me that. How are you gonna replace it? If you just get rid of things that the citizens of this county need, then why are you here? Why? Who are you working for? If you just want to save money, what for? For what? If not for the citizens of this county, shame on you if you want to get rid of this. I, I don't even see why you're questioning. Why, should, why do we have the smart bus? Well, go and let's, let's break a leg of yours or something. You know, I mean, Let's do that. Good grief. Or just act that way. Act like you've got a broken leg and you can no longer drive, like your right foot, OK? Act that way for a day. And see who you can rely on to take you somewhere to a doctor's appointment, a dental appointment, any kind of appointment. Because people need this. So I'm not sure why you'd want to get rid of it. Unless you, oh, we had to save money for what? For who? The citizens of this county need your support. All citizens need your support. And maybe you'll need that support someday. God forbid. You have 15 seconds. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice afternoon. Anyone else wish to be heard under public comment? Anyone else under public participation? Any subject on the agenda? One more time. Anybody else? Okay, we're closed public participation. Item seven, I need a motion to adopt item seven A through C. These are three proclamations that we have before us Moved today. Moved by Kleinfeld. Support Hall. Any discussion on these items? Please vote. Sabatini votes yes, it's not coming up on my screen. Yeah. Motion passes 13 to 0. All right, thank you. Item 8 is uh, presentations. We have a presentation uh, uh, recognizing uh, July is the Pasture Appreciation Month um, in Macomb County. Uh, Commissioner Hall is the lead on this, and I will support him. And then, uh, secondly, there's a proclamation uh, honoring a Girl Scout. and. Uh, that's presented by me, so I'm going to go up there with Commissioner Hall right now and make these presentations. Thank you, Board. If I could be joined by Pastor Lancaster and any other associates that are here with him today. I will say while uh, Pastor Lancaster is walking up, Pastor Friedman is the one that uh, originally called me and asked me if I would take a look at this. Well, today he called me through Messenger audio call, which took me about five minutes to figure out how to answer it. He's in the hospital, and he was going to try and get discharged to come and receive this proclamation. I told him I'd call his wife, and that would put an end to that. So with that, we have a proclamation, whereas the Macomb County Board of Commissioners hereby proclaims the month of July as Pastor Appreciation Month in Macomb County, Whereas the service and assistance of pastors today requires advanced knowledge, experience, training, and expertise in public safety. Whereas the pastors of Macomb County have faced unique challenges since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Whereas Pastor Appreciation Month 
celebrates, appreciates, and recognizes all service pastors by reflecting on how their professionalism, dedication, inspiration, experience, and support as a whole through an unselfish commitment to their pastoral careers while improving and expanding their skills and knowledge has, is, and will continue to be a vital asset to all organizations. So with that, Pastor Lancaster, I'd like to present this proclamation on behalf of the Board of Commissioners. also like to ask the commissioners that co-signed the proclamation with me. You go right ahead. <laughs> Commissioner Nard, Commissioner Zinner, and Commissioner Van Sickle to join us, please. Are we all going to fit? Are we all going to fit? Stay around a longer. We might need your prayers. Let's leave. Yeah. Please uh, stay around. And, uh, well, that's why we put down in the back. Yeah. <laughs> We'll just say a blanket person. No, we need more than that, I'm afraid. Yeah. Or you can stand back here. You're safe. I'm trying to check the signs. Okay. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Just put it. Perfect. And we got Commissioner Matusik in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We like her. Thank you. The Reverend. <laughs> Kevin, so. I just wanted to say thank you to Commissioner Hall um, on behalf of um, Pastor James Friedman and the 21st um, Century past, uh, Chaplains, as well as our chaplains here. Just like what's already been said, um, chaplaincy is going outside the walls of the church, and we're here to support, um, to be a beacon of light uh, for all of our citizens, including you. So if you ever need us, just please give us a call on behalf of Pastor Friedman, and we're very appreciative for this. God bless you. Thank you. We'd have confession, but we'd be here too long. So it'll take us a longer time to get through that. I've got a, please rise. I'm here to honor, how are you? Good, good to see you, you dear. So the, the Board of Commissioners wants to recognize you and your good work. Uh, this is a proclamation to acknowledge a Madeline Yoruma or Tuma for receiving the Gold Star Award from the Girl Scouts of Southeast Michigan. Very good, congratulations on that. Um, whereas the Macomb County Board of Commissioners wishes to commend uh, Madeline Yoruma, your, how do you say Yurima. that? Yoruma. <laughs> for the of Armada for achieving the Girl Scout Gold Award, the most prestigious world award in Girl Scouting. And whereas since 1916, Girl Scouts have ex accepted the challenge of earning Girl Scouts' highest awards, thereby demonstrating a commitment to bettering themselves and their communities and the world. And whereas those who have earned that have shown the same outstanding leadership skills, determination, and resilience that have made Girl Scouts' highest award a unique rite of passage for young women and Girl Scouts, and whereas Madeline Yurima has honored the Girl Scouts of Southeast Michigan with the prestigious Gold Star Award in recognition of her food pantry project, Madeline has saw the need for her community and surrounding communities, so she created the Metro D Food Pantry Index. She then connected the food pantries to a website in order to create an accurate list of food needs. Madeline also connected local Girl Scouts and Boy Scout troops to help maintain the resources, allowing a continuous commitment of service to help them grow and succeed. Whereas Madeline became a Girl Scout when she joined the Daisies at five years of age. She then continued with Girl Scouts throughout her primary and secondary education years, bridging, bridging through Girl Scout levels of brownies, juniors, cadets, seniors, and ambassadors, and then the highest level of Girl Scouts. Whereas in addition to earning Girl Scout Gold Star Award, Madeline also accomplished the Girl Scouts prestigious awards and medals, which consisted of a bronze star, a silver star, and a gold star. Earning all three Girl Scout prestigious medal stars, 
is a testament to Madeline's commitment to go above and beyond making a difference in her community and the world. Whereas Madeline is a member of Troop 30231, she is the 2022 Miss Armada Court member. She graduated from Armada High School and attends Wayne State University as a pre-med student studying neuroscience. Madeline's made her Wayne State University Dean list at the end of her first term. It is fitting and proper that Madeline, an outstanding citizen and volunteer, be recognized for her accomplishments. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed by the Board of Commissioners, speaking for and behalf of all the county residents, offers as follows, that by these presents the Macomb County Board of Commissioners hereby publicly acknowledges and commends Madeline for receiving the Girl Scouts Gold Star Award for outstanding service to her community through involvement in the Girl Scouts of Southeastern Michigan. Be it therefore resolved that a suitable copy of this proclamation be presented to Madeline in testimony and be it further resolved that the Macomb County Board of Commissioners speak on behalf of all the citizens duly acknowledge you. So congratulations. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Get a picture. How about we get an award to the parents, too, for doing it, huh? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. I mean, Thank you. you're a leader, and you're going to go on to so many great things. You've already done more than most people doing an entire <laughs> lifetime serving your community. Connecting those food pantries probably during the pandemic was very special need. Can you tell us a yes. little bit about that? Yeah, of course. So COVID hit and we also had a tornado. Yep. Sorry about that. Um, during the COVID pandemic, I was a volunteer at St. Mary's in Armada. It services Richmond, Romeo and Armada. So there's quite a bit of a need. And when COVID hit, we saw that need increase drastically. Um, on top of that, during the month of July of last year, we were hit by a tornado and that wiped out a fair share of our nature and put more, even more families at need. And so I created Metro D Food Pantry Index, which I highly urge you all to check out, share. We're also actively looking for volunteers and we will connect you with a food pantry in need as well. So metrodfoodpantry.com and I would love to see you all there. I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you. That's wonderful. Um, now you're a med student also, neuroscience. Boy, you got some victims you could probably study right here that could probably be interesting case studies. I certainly am probably the leading one. Um, how was that going? Are you doing well with that school going fine? You made the dean's list already, so you're obviously very smart and top of your class. So we're really honored. I mean, the parents told me taking your child from, you know, the whole, the whole levels of Girl Scouts, you're raising leaders. We need more of you. We need more Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts that have developed into leaders through the, through the progress, through the progression of all those levels of scouting that you've taken yourself through. And um, it's really a commended, and look where it's led you, and look where you're gonna go because of the background and your basis that your parents have given you. So, uh, and I, I take full credit for the responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know it's the mom, I know it's always the mother. So, uh, but uh, it takes a family for sure, and we're, we're glad to honor you today. And uh, you're really doing outstanding. That connection with the food pantries is really a significant thing. It really matters. It really is going to make an effect on many people that you don't even know about. So, again, congratulations on behalf of the board, and you have a continued great life. And uh, if you Thank need anything, you. let me know. Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Thank you for reaching out to us. Oh, we appreciate yeah, it. No that problem. was really nice for you to acknowledge your lucky Well, event. it's Thank important, you. and I yeah. recognize uh, winners when we see them, and we got to recognize the good ones. Thank, Thank you. you. A lot of bad things go on in this world, right? We see a lot of bad things in the world, but to honor those who have are raising us up and giving us hope, and you do, and we appreciate that. So, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank everyone. You. Thank you. Appreciate your time.
can I have a motion to receive and file the presentations, just for the record? So moved. Please Support vote. Support Zinner. Motion passes 13 to 0. Thank you very much. Item 9 are um, appointments uh, to the Veterans Affairs Commission. Uh, we'll take them individually. Um, can I have a, a motion for 9A on the Veterans Affairs appointment? So moved, Paul. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, please vote. Motion passes 13 to 0. Thank you. Item 9B, the Art Institute Authority. Uh, need a motion from uh, the appointment of the executive's, uh, executive's appointment. Any discussion on that item? Please vote. Motion passes 13 to 0. And uh, I'd like a motion on uh, 9C, the Art Institute Authority, a, a board chair appointment of uh, Commissioner Leon Lett. Please vote. Is there any discussion? I'll make that motion. Make I the motion. I want to make sure we do it right. Hate to have them not get appointed properly. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to make it a habit around here. Please vote. Motion passes 11 to 2. Commissioners Matusik and Song voting no. Very good. Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, item 10 is uh, Records and Public Safety Committee recommendations. Need a motion to approve uh, items 10A through 10H. Will I Romano? Support all. Any questions on any of those items? And for the audience, we've approved these all in committee. We've had discussions in committee. These are just final recommendations. and. Please vote. Motion passes 13 to 0. Thank you. Item 11 is Public Service Committee recommendations. Need a motion to approve the uh, items 11A through I. 11I. I'll make a motion, thank you. Support Kleinfeld. Thank you, Commissioners. Any discussion on any of those items? I don't see any. Please vote. Motion passes 13 to 0. Item 12 is Health, Health and Human Services Committee recommendations. I need a motion to approve the recommendations 11, um, number 12A to 12D. Matusik moves. Support the article. Is there any discussion on any of those items? Please vote. Motion passes 13 to 0. Item 13 is Finance Audit and Budget Committee recommendations. Need a motion to approve item A. Is there any discussion on this item? Seeing none, please vote. Motion passes 12 to 1 with Commissioner Song voting no. Thank you. Item 14, Internal Services Committee recommendations. Need a motion to recommend uh, 14A through F. Motion to approve. Chair, if I may, on the last vote, who was the no vote? Commissioner Song, I believe. Oh, okay. I thought Song. she. I thought she I said. I thought she me. said ha. Oh. Okay, thank you. Sorry. No problem. Okay. I support Commissioner Van Sickle's motion. Okay. Oh, any discussion? Any of those items? Please vote.
motion passes 13 to 0. Thank you. Item 15, Government Oversight Committee. I need a motion to approve. So moved. Any discussion on that item? Please vote. Motion passes 13 to 0. Item 16, ordinances. I need a motion to approve ordinance 2020. 2-5 for FY 2023 June year-end funds budget appropriation ordinance. Motion Move. to approve. Go ahead. <laughs> Any questions on this, Commissioner Clanto? Please vote. Motion passes 13 to 0. Item 17A, Resolution 2022-8565, Resolution Approving Language for the Macomb County Public Transportation Mills to appear on the November 8th, 2022 ballot. I need a motion to approve. So moved, Paul. Support Kleinfeld. Okay. Any discussion on this item? Commissioner Song. Thank you, Chair. I'd just like to ask Commissioner Romano, uh, well, for, first of all, thank you so much for sharing the correction with us uh, regarding yesterday's uh, statement that you made. And knowing that seniors are using the smart service, I would like to ask if you would reconsider your vote. I have reconsidered, so no vote. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner Song. Um, I don't see anyone else, no other speakers. Anyone want any more chance? Please call the vote. <coughs> Motion passes seven to six. Commissioners Farrington, Kraft, Romano, Sabatini, Vansicle, and Zinner voting no. Okay, thank you. Item 18A, correspondence. Uh, Need a motion to uh, receive and file? So moved, Romano. Support Van Sickle. Any discussion on that item? <coughs> Please vote. <coughs> motion passes 13 to 0. Thank you. Item 19, public participation. This is an opportunity for the public to participate and speak of a maximum of three minutes in any subject they'd like. Anyone wish to be heard on any item on the, either on the agenda or not? You have three minutes. Thank you, Chair Brown. I'm Joel Rutherford, live in Warren, and I just wanted to thank you all for your support. I'm honored to be reappointed to the Veterans Service Commission, and like I had said yesterday, if there's anything that we can do to help increase outreach to veterans, please contact us so that we can do that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Commissioner Mr. Rutherford. Anyone else wish to be heard under public comment? Anyone? Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Misty Delegato, and I own Relevar Home Care here in Macomb County. I actually started it right here in Mount Clemens, right on Cass Avenue about 20 years ago. But I'm here to talk to you today about auto no fault, because uh, when I started care back in 20... 2003, um, we were caring for those that were catastrophically injured. And I know some folks last month were here to talk to you about asking for you to pass a resolution requesting that the legislature please fix the auto no fault. And I'm here just to give you a little bit of my story, which is, um, first of all, most of the folks that came to us that were catastrophically injured, I'm going to say about 90%, never needed long-term care. So, you know, helping educate you on, on what things look like from the ground level is important because there's a lot of uh, false information going on out there. Now, the ones that did need care, all of us, month after month, we were putting in um, a very small amount, about $200 when, it, when uh, our care ended for our folks. 
uh, to go into the uh, catastrophic fund, and that fund was to pay for folks long term. It was about that 10% that had either a spinal cord injury or head injury or multiple fractures that needed care long term. And so um, there's about $32 billion sitting in that fund right now. And uh, the folks are not getting care. Uh, I had somebody recently tell me that, uh, well, this doesn't affect Macomb County. And I'm telling you, it does affect Macomb County. There are a lot of folks out there that need care. And there's a lot of us, if we get in a car accident, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to get home care services. Even though today, if you kept your auto coverage the way it looked prior to the change in the law, you're not going to get coverage because they cut our rate by 55%. Now, I don't know about you or how much you know about, you know, paying um, payroll costs and all the other things that it takes to run a business, that doesn't cover our costs at all. So what we had to do for the most part when the law changed is we had to end care for folks. You have one minute. Yeah. So um, what that looked like, and I'll give you just one example. A gentleman, he was living independently in a home in Richmond, had 24-hour care. He was a quadriplegic. He had been a quadriplegic for many years, 10 years plus. Um, when, the, when the law changed, care ended. Uh, he had to go live with his mother on a second floor that was not modified to provide his care. And within three months, he passed away. So these are just some of the stories. And I'm, well, all I'm asking you folks to do is pass a resolution. We're trying to get the legislature to you know, realize the mistake that was made and to fix the mistake. And I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wish to put under public comment? Anybody else under public comment, anything, any topic at all? One last time, anyone under public participation want to be heard about any subject? Okay, we'll close public participation. Item 20 is commissioner comments. Commissioner comments, let's see. Um, it's stuck. Who wants, to, who wants to speak? Commissioner Hall, go ahead. Thank you, Chair. Now you know how I felt with that messenger audio thing I tried to deal with today. I would just like to congratulate all our volunteer appointees, certainly those that we appointed tonight. They really dedicate their time with no compensation and are truly appreciated by all of us up here at the county. So my sincere thanks to all of them. That's all I have, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner Haw. That's uh, echoed by the whole board. Appreciate you saying that. Commissioner Nard. Uh, I just wanted to thank all the commissioners for um, agreeing to the proclamation for the ADA Compliance Awareness uh, for uh, July 20th through the 30th. It's a very important thing, um, and I just I really thank everybody for that. Uh, I also wanted to thank our executives, uh, Mark Hackle and... Um, See, we got Mark Hackle, Pete Lucido, uh, Anthony Wickersham, Anthony Ferlini, the uh, Treasurer Larry Roca, and uh, uh, our uh, Public Works Commissioner Candace Miller for agreeing with this proclamation and that uh, showing that Macomb County is ADA compliant and we uh, will continue to do so. Thank you, Thank you Commissioner Nard. Uh, Commissioner Matuzic. Just want to point out you can still get a puppy. <laughs> this Saturday at the Macomb County Animal Shelter from 10 to 2, there's a clear the shelter movement going on this week, all of this week. Um, and you can go meet your new best friend, furry friend, at the Macomb County Animal Shelter this Saturday. Don't miss the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. So you got a job in radio if you want it. You got a good... <laughs> I want to make a note uh, that the clerk's office luncheon is tomorrow from noon to 1.30. It's going to be great food and live entertainment, as well as a widely acclaimed accordion, accordionist. Um, you're all welcome to be there. It's at 40 North Main in the jury room. Um, Commissioner Ferlini will have some fine food there, no doubt. Um, I also want to... Please, go ahead. No, no, please. Oh, I had put my name down. I, I just wanted to say, Commissioner Romano, I think that Commissioner Matuzak is speaking directly to you with regard to the puppy. He's been trying to get mine for a week. He might as well go over there and get one. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, it was, uh, this would be the last meeting uh, for the month, and uh, 
I know many of us are involved in uh, campaigns, and uh, wish you all good luck because, I mean, your success there will mean you'll be with us the next year, those of us that are running again. And uh, so I uh, wish you all the best of luck and uh, continued success in what you do because uh, we've all worked well around here the last uh, couple of years, or almost two years, and we've got a difference of opinion, political opinion here, but we've all operated respectfully and respect each other's views and have conducted ourselves um, with uh, with res mutual respect. And I think that's been very much appreciated. And I've been around this board a long time. It always hasn't been that way. And uh, and uh, I just say this has been a, you know, let's just get out there and uh, do your best. And uh, in the end, it's God's will what happens. But uh, I want you to work hard to, to, to do what you can to be back here next time. So um, anyone else? All right, seeing none, I need a motion to adjourn, motion Commissioner. Motion to adjourn. Support. Any all those in favor, say it. Please vote. <laughs> all right. All you have to do is send him a picture. He'll be over to fish We're adjourned. Thank you, Commissioners. Have a good uh, month. Take care. Again, folks.